Let's make pumpkin chocolate bars. This simple recipe only uses three ingredients for the best sweet and salty homemade chocolate bars. Add 12 ounces of mini dark chocolate chips to a heat proof bowl. I'm using glass. Mini chocolate chips are my secret ingredient whenever I have to melt chocolate because they are so tiny that you don't have to chop the chocolate and they melt so easily. Remove about 20% of the chocolate from the mixing bowl. You can just eyeball this, but it's about 2.4 ounces. Place that in a separate bowl. I'm tempering the chocolate here, but this step is completely optional. Next, melt the remaining 80% of the mini chocolate chips using a double boiler and melt until it reaches 115 degrees on a chocolate thermometer. I'll link my favorite chocolate thermometer in the description. Remove it from the heat and immediately add in the remaining 20% of the mini chocolate chips. Stir to combine completely until all the chocolate is melted. Then allow the chocolate to sit until it reaches 91 degrees. If you don't want to temper the chocolate, you can simply melt all the chocolate in a heat proof bowl in the microwave doing 30 second intervals, stirring between each one to prevent from burning. Tempering the chocolate will just give it a nice sheen and snap and it will prevent it from sweating. But this part is totally optional. Once the chocolate comes down to 91 degrees or is completely melted, add in a quarter cup of roasted and salted pumpkin seeds and combine completely. Transfer the chocolate to chocolate bar molds. I'll link the ones that I'm using in the description. You'll get four three ounce chocolate bars. Once all the molds are filled and the chocolate is spread out evenly, sprinkle the tops with flaky sea salt. This part is optional, but if you know me, then you know I can't resist a sweet and salty dessert. Let the chocolate set until it's hardened, but if you want to speed up this process, then place them in the fridge or freezer. Once the chocolate is set, pop out the bars and you have delicious, sweet and salty, homemade chocolate bars. If you didn't temper the chocolate, just make sure to store these bars in the fridge. For more easy fall-inspired recipes, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me next time in the kitchen.